on the multi crore accounting scam market regulator SEBI has barred Satyam uh, and its founder uh, B. Ramalinga Raju along with four other former executives from the capital markets. Swati is joining us uh, with more on that. Swati, you know, the headline of course is that they've been barred for 14 years, but it has gone into detail about how exactly this, uh, this, you know, this entire scam was perpetrated. Well, it's right, a hard-hitting letter by SEBI, in fact, an order by SEBI on Satyam uh, case. And clearly, as you mentioned, there's been this uh, barring from stock markets that's come in for Ramalinga Raju and four other uh, former directors. But more importantly, they have established and uh, spoken on the modus operandi of, uh, uh, you know, orchestrating this whole uh, uh, for, uh, making false books uh, around Satyam computers for many years. Uh, so talking about bank fudge, bank account fudging uh, first and uh, where they've mentioned and SEBI observes that Satyam computers maintain two different accounts of, of bank statements for a current account number. What they did is they maintained a daily bank statement that they received through email and printed and filed in account swings and simultaneously they had a monthly bank statement which was received through internal courier from its chairman's office. So that's the idea that they uh, build on where they drew up the accounts on the basis of these uh, monthly statements which essentially showed that they all reflected false bank Balances. As far as uh, fixed deposit receipts are concerned, uh, clearly uh, on uh, SEBI's observation is that there has been a continuous differences uh, in FDR balances which are presented in the books versus the actual FDR balances reported by banks. And this is for the period between 2001 and 2008. Uh, they've also talked about how banks in their letters uh, that was sent to auditors. The FDR balances, uh, banks claimed that they had not sent them, which means that the, le the letters of the banks are available with the auditors are all fake, uh, and that's a big allegation coming in. The other bit is uh, where SEBI is observed on uh, fake invoices that were made, uh, and that was essentially done to inflate the sales revenue, and uh, that was shown in the books. Almost 7,561 fake invoices were made, so that's a big substantial number. Uh, as far as internal audit alerts were concerned, there were multiple uh, alerts sent, but really no heed was paid on those uh, uh, red flags raised. Overall, they said that uh, Ramalinga Raju is the chief orchestrator of the fraud in the case, and they've said that everything that was done uh, to fudge the accounts, uh, you know, talking about uh, FDRs and how false accounting was done around it, was all done with Ramalinga Raju primarily involved in it. So that that were some very scathing uh, allegations and uh, observations made by SEBI in its final order.